Fellas, what have I been doing for the past 11 months? I'm playing Minecraft Realms with my boys. I know. Whoa, it worked! But I got myself a whole place here. Built the society. Of course, I gotta have the parkour throughout my base. I gotta do it like that. Oh. We start with the home base. This is where I live. It was maybe 10 months ago I made this home for myself in the side of a mountain. For this one, I didn't use a build tutorial, uh, which, as you'll see, is a rare tra trend that never actually happens. I got some bricks. Let me get these real quick. I got the bricks. As you'll see, I like to keep stuff organized. Real nice. There's nothing in my armor, because I already got all the armor I need. Uh, one of my biggest regrets in life is that I made a sheep farm right beside my base. So if I walk too far close to that side of the base, and I'm looking through these chests, I just hear a non-stop sheep. And if you actually walk into the sheep farm, you hear a non-stop sheep, but louder. One of my smaller regrets is that I made a cactus farm. A cactus farm is really nice, and I haven't checked it out in a while. How's the cactus growing? A lot of it. I'm gonna hold this cactus on me, because I had an idea recently that you'll see what I'm gonna do with this cactus. Get out of here, cactus. You think I care about you? Oh, let's walk through this way. I can take the stairs, I'll need the exercise in this quarantine time. Here's my backyard, but there's not much in it. I should develop this. You can go all the way down my mine shaft. Oh, booyah! Oh, goo! I did it. My mine shaft goes kind of crazy. I wish I had Optifine, but it takes a year to download, and then people are trying to scam you when it's not out yet. Uh, let's go back up the stairs. I have an enormous pathway, and we built it. It looks too modern for the rest of the vibe, but it works. I, it goes a long way, and it took a lot of wood. The stone doesn't matter, but the wood was important. I'll show you. I got my carrot farm and my cow farm. My cow farm is the source of all my steak nowadays, and I never farm my carrots because it takes too long, and I should have automated it, but I'm not good with redstone. Geki. There's too many cows here, but we need them because we need leather, because one of my friends needs books, and books need leather. The glass looks kind of nice, but... um. If it breaks, we're having a flood issue. So climb the waterfall. This is Minecraft physics. I'll actually go down. My nether work farm. Really inefficient. Here's my bedroom. Uh, I spend my sleeping nights here. Yeah, I do live in a bedroom. I made myself the nether in the overworld. Which is pointless, because I can just go to the nether if I want to see the nether. But I think that's kind of cool. I wonder if I should expand it and have it take over the whole territory around here. But the flowers are nice, so maybe we don't do that. There's more to explore within my home base. Ah! Uh, this is the apartment. I want my friend to rent it out and pay me in bookshelves, but he won't. I just want to live here. My mycelium, my grass farm, because you can never have enough of that dirt. The map room. This is very gorgeous. A big painting. Uh, I love the dark oak wood. That's a vibe. You see the whole world from around here. The green dot, my cursor is right on it. So you can, uh, that's where I am right now. What's that big white thing on top? You'll see that soon. Uh, you can see my friend's base all the way up there. Big pathway. Oops, I spoiled it. What is that enormous building? How can it be so big in such a small map? Big map. I don't know. We're gonna take over this whole territory one day. I'll show you. Maybe in three years. No talk, me Angie. Turn back around. No talk, me Angie. Okay, he hungry. Here. I can go outside? No, dude. Quarantine. Why do I hear mobs? Zombies. Combat. I can go outside? No. Quarantine. Imagine making the same joke twice in like a 10 second window. I can go outside. This thing goes really a long way up. Like I've been flying for quite some miles now. I finally made it. This is my house that I built without a building tutorial and it looks awful. This, I made this ugly bench. This, these wood types aren't the same. It's horrible. Uh, I made this house and I decided I can't build stuff in my world with it being so ugly. So I need to follow actually building tutorials block for block. If I want to make things look good. Because this is an abomination. This is Lux's house. She doesn't deserve a good house. This is a bad champion. I named a bunch of stuff after things in League of Legends and other video games. Just because I have so much stuff, I had to put some names to it. That's categorization like that. 
a nice pond, and then it, this tiny pond creates a massive waterfall right beside the rain cloud. So it kind of looks like the fault of the rain cloud. Waterfall and cloud. From here you can see the Toruk Makto Islands. That's not named after a video game. That's named after Sam Worthington trying really hard not to sound Australian. Yeah, so that's my whole base. But we'll go to the outskirts of my base. Let's let's fly, fly, Phoenix, fly. All the way to Lissandra's house residence. It's called Lissandra's residence because it's in a snow area. Ice. She is a cold champion. But it's really cozy and warm inside. Wow. Could I have built something so good? No. Building tutorial. Let's sleep in Lissandra's house. You may have noticed on the side, we have a lot of deaths. Uh, we died a lot. I am Pathetic Pancreas. This is my alt account, as you may know. I have 12 deaths. I died 12 times. It sucks. At least I'm not bad as Dominica. Okay, so there's not supposed to be a redstone block there, but it hasn't snowed, I suppose, in a while. Let's see where I can get a good view of this big boy. It's an eagle! I followed a building tutorial. Think I can build an eagle on my own? No. Oh, the waterfall looks great in that little circle. It looks like a lizard's eye. Here's another tower with a building tutorial. Who's shooting at me, man? I'll beat you up. I'll destroy you. Head, I do got the tower. I thought this was a really nice place to do it. Tajin's Tower. Tell me what video game this is a reference to in the comment section below. I'll give you attention. What a beautiful view. Not particularly. What a beautiful view. It actually is. I bet my render distance sucks so much that you can't see anything. See another tower. See a house in the mountain. See a hot air balloon. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter much more than that. Ah, I love towers, as you might be able to tell. I have like four in this world. As, as I mentioned before, I made the reference to it. The Taruk Makto Islands. Let's investigate them. I don't know what to do with these nowadays. But, uh, oh, I, I made a major spoiler right now. Hold your horses, though. Patience is a great virtue, so we'll uh, explore that later. Let's go down to the hot air balloon. Don't fall down. This is Usan's condor. It's not really a condor, because a condor is a bird, but that's a nice... That's some poetry. That's some personification. Not particularly. Should I explore that big tower? This is Jerocraft's tutorial, and I really liked it a lot. I built it in two different servers. Oh, you know what? Let's go up to the house that's quite far away. Surrounded by big tall trees. What house could this be? Jana's residence. Do I play Jana? 70,000 mastery points or something. So the house on the outside is all tutorial built. But the inside, I built by myself. I designed the interior. And this looks stupid. I don't know what it's supposed to be. A workbench. But maybe I should put some rails on this or something. Other than that, I think it looks okay on the inside. Maybe there should be some carpet here. The upper floors I like better. Ooh, it's like, it's like on a cloud. I'm walking on a cloud. I should fill these chests up with something. I am the man in the mirror. I am asking him to change his ways. The same painting, Jana. You're the most boring person on earth. Get a different painting. Whoa, bro. I'm always making lights like this. They got grass, they got vines, they got stone brick, but I don't think there's stone brick on that one. Why are there so many chests in this place? You'll see. I just haven't gotten around to filling them up yet. There's bedrooms all around here. Ah. Can I close them all before I fall down in the waterfall? Yes. Can I go down all the way before I drown? Perhaps. I'm at the bottom. What a short tower. Uh, what's in these chests? Stone. 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 How are you doing, Rogers? How are you doing, uh, Bartholomew? Doing okay. This man's tall! So I'm five foot eleven. This guy's six foot oh. This is the World Tower. That's a cool name, and I came up with it myself. It doesn't mean anything. Why are there slime blocks here? I'll show you. Whoa, bro! Whoa, bro! That's cool. That flew me all the way right into Nami's residence. Oh god, the door's open. There's a burglar. I'll destroy you. Uh, I designed the interior myself again. The outside. Let's see the outside of the house. Uh, the tutorial. A building tutorial. I never build anything except for building tutorials. You have a ladder going up here. Pathetic. I thought this looks kind of cozy. Nice house, dude. Why are all these doors open, though? My door is always open. You can call anytime you want. Nami has a really nice house. 
I'm jealous. And she has a nice boat too, but she doesn't need it because she can swim. Imagine that. Imagine wasting like a couple of grand on a boat that you don't need. Let's go swimming, boys. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess style. This is really cool on this spawn naturally. You actually go under the water and pop out in a whole different lake. I'm not lying to you. So I made a bridge with a tutorial that leads to a tower with a tutorial. It took a lot of campfires with a tutorial. I made the path with a tutorial though. It's easy to make paths. You just randomly place blocks. This is the mage tower. Not named after anything in particular, but I like mages a lot. This interior is tutorial built. I didn't make it. Think I'd waste anvils? No. What, we got a pathway, dude? Yeah, let's walk on the pathway. I made it. Ow! I should get rid of these berry bushes. They've actually ruined everything. Okay, this looks really nice from a lot of angles. So I, I like my the place where I live. I think I chose it nice. The trees are in the way. But yeah, this whole lake, this is Lake Hilionia, which is a portmanteau. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Uh, it's a combination of the words Hylia and Ionia, which Lake Hylia is The Legend of Zelda, Ionia is League of Legends. Yeah, we're living in a lake. I replaced the whole floor, which was like sand and gravel at one point with dirt. And I don't know if that was a good choice, but it looks okay. I This is a man-made island thing. So, I think that's cool. And I made it myself. Life's cradle. Because there's a lot of life in here. Plant life. Now I'm here too, and I'm life. I put ores in here. They didn't spawn naturally. Haha. <laughs> I bet you couldn't tell. The beacon is blue and then it turns purple after I put the red glass there because it looks better purple when I come out of it. Let's fly all the way up. Lake Hilionia looks really cool. Purple. Uh, oh, what is this house under the dark overhang? Old, dirty, rustic looking hobbit in the uh, living control living under the bridge type energy. Nico's residence. Minecraft just puts random creepy sounds for no reason. Nico's residence is kind of cozy. Watch this. I'll step on the trap door. Oh! Oh! This is the weirdest. I don't know how redstone works. Maybe I'm just lagging. Bridge will have to wait, boy. Right now, you may be curious about some things you saw earlier. Let's start out with... Kaisa's residence. I built this one very recently. Maybe a week ago. Uh, interior, not my design. Exterior, not my design. Very nice. This wall spawned perfectly flat. Amplified worlds go crazy. And I think I like it. Let's sleep in Kaisa's house. Thanks for the sleepover. This is a nice pathway. And I should actually make it a pathway like some of the other ones you saw. With the uh, soil dirt and the stone and the cobblestone and andesite. But it might be tricky because it's a big incline. It's a steep hill. Wow, my legs are getting a workout. Oh, it's scary. I'm not looking at it. Okay, I'm looking at it. That's called facing your fears. Here's a nice tower. It looks very uh, Asian style. So it's the Kinku Monastery. Because that's Asian inspired. Oh, wow. They stole John's painting. I can't believe it. Uh, I designed the interior by myself. I thought it was very nice to do so. Whoa, that looks really flat land there. I wanted to build something, but I hated what I was trying to build, so I don't want to do it anymore. Maybe one day. I still have the land. It's an eyesore right now, though. Go along the path, you'll make it to this house. Whose house is this? Whose could it be? The zombie's house. Get out of here. I'll destroy you. Another building tutorial. Ari's residence. I can't believe Ari lives up here. It's so high up. I guess she can just ult up. If it works like that. Everyone has a bed for two. I guess they just... Need a lot of wiggle room. What happens if I open the trap door? Oh! I wish I didn't do that. Sorry, your floorboards are soaked. It wasn't me. And so this path goes all the way down back to my base. I don't know why there's a jungle tree here. Everything is connected, as you'll see. You'll see in two years time that everything is connected too. Two years. That's my estimate. Wow, back where we started. <coughs> Smoke. All right. It's what you've all been waiting for. I failed the parkour, so. Nope. I'm back on it, boys. You get a whole sense of the world view from over here. Enormous. Insane. Incredible. 
Oh, I failed the parkour. Where did I? Ah, the Sheikah Tower. Breath of the Wild mode. What's in here? Stuff from the nether that I don't have enough room for in my base. I made more lights. As you can see, I always like putting lights. But here we are. Well, not yet. Redstone. Wow. I'll have to get a good view from over here. What's this sign doing here? Wow. This is the castle at the end of the world. What a cool name. Diamond door. Building tutorial. But oh boy, this took at least two weeks in survival. With teleports enabled, as you've probably seen. But I'm very proud of this one, except I don't know what to do with the interior. I made this really ugly staircase. It's supposed to be circular. It's supposed to be. This place is, I think, a glorified mob farm. I don't really know. Oh, I lit it up recently, so it's less of a mob farm, but when it wasn't, there was just things spawning all around. There's a nice XP grinder. The fountain I did not design. Ooh, what I was thinking? I should explore the whole castle for you guys. In earnest, because it's a massive place. And it's quite the conquest. Mob farm moment. These end rods look horrible. But, yeah, I'm gonna make this maybe a parkour all the way up. This thing is enormously tall. Stop. Yeah, it could be a parkour. I'd get back to my roots, but 1.15 parkour is kind of whack. Let's fly all the way up. And see, ah. see how tall we have to go. Ah, booyah. Oh, you, ah. Ah. Okay. There's these nice uh, porters. Let me do the dumpster dive on you, boy. kind of worked. Why are you up here, person? Uh-oh, the mob farm is back in full force. Oh, God. Go outside. Yes, this castle is, uh, I like it. I'm glad I built it. It was a five-hour build tutorial. But what's over here, mate? Here's my old base. It's full of bad tree farms and bad bridges. Sam Porter Bridges. What are you, chicken? Go check what out, chickens. My friend made me a chicken farm. Wow, so much chicken. I have an enormous wheat farm that I don't use anymore because it's uh, not automated and it's painful. I don't think I harvested my wheat farm recently, but someone did. That's weird. So you have my massive, enormous, gigantic wheat farm. Yeah, my friend's pitiful, tiny wheat farm down there. Guess who built this? None other than X496, the boring person. I'm going to trample his stuff. Mr. Funny. Enough about that. Yeah, my old base. I miss it. It was nice on this big, massive island. Whoa, what's down there, you might have asked. I'm glad you asked. I didn't sync up my nether portals, so it just spawns like this idiotically. And I think it's bad. I chopped down all the trees, and then I spawned a wither while we still had mob griefing enabled. So to make it look really messed up and blown up. So this is a kind of mysterious, scary place, and I think it's cool. The mountains in this area are amazing. What's over there? This was the true starter base. It was like mid-May of 2019. And we lived here. Well, not me. Not yet. I need that leather, man. Thanks. You have this dumb mine shaft. This doesn't matter. Let's go back to my house. I still got more to show you around my base. I'm so surprised. And this is turning out to be quite a long video. Flying over to this house. Who made it? Whose is it? Aurelia's residence. You live in a really small house, Aurelia. That's pathetic. Well, this is tiny. You have some flowers in a bed. You can read some books, but that's about all. There's no kitchen, there's no washroom. This is horrible. I guess you just go to uh, Sindra's house for all your other needs. Uh, where is it? It's right here. They don't live too far, but you have to do a big jump. I suppose you just wait for nighttime, and there's gonna be like a skeleton that spawns here. She's gonna be standing over there, she's gonna queue to the skeleton, and she's like, hey, I'm at Sindra's house. Here's a sleepover. Wow, Sindra, nice house. It's full of dirt, haha. <laughs> Aurelia's house had two flowers, Syndra only has one, she must be poor. We got more dirt in here. But uh, I did not design the interior, I think it's kind of cool the way they did for me in the building tutorial. Now, we have the Pond of Life. This is supposed to be a minigame arena, but no one wants to play in it. I think it looks quite nice, the Pond of Life. Last but not least, okay it's kind of least. Lava! But we also have... Dirty House. Skeleton's residence. This place sucks and it's horrible. Dirt. Those are listed as some of the major locations as promised. Here's the path. Oh, you know what I forgot to show you? You might have been curious. You're saying, why is there a big bumblebee on top of the castle? I'll show you that right now. Okay, now the place looks amazing at nighttime. 
I love it a lot. Wow, it looks so cool. The skull, you can see it for yourself. This is the Fly Fly Phoenix Fly. I made this while watching World's 2019 Finals. G2 lost just three games in a row to FPX for no reason. So I made this in honor of FPX's victory. Fly, fly, phoenix, fly. It is a phoenix. It's on fire. And it was reborn, because I built it the first time. It sucked. But I followed a building tutorial. It didn't suck. The nether portal is cool, but it can only be a square shape, so you see the inner you see the inner obsidian. It's supposed to be a circle. Thanks, Riot. A lot of stuff spawns at night, especially when I haven't lit it up. But, ah, yes and truly. We do have the skull. What happened in the skull? Leviathan skull, Breath of the Wild reference. Connects back to my base. Everything connects back to my base eventually. Let's do this again, hopefully I don't die. The pathway. I could have flown more. You think I care? No, oh, mob farm. Um, this is a long video. I'll save the pathway for, and what it leads to in the next video. You already know what it leads to, I told you, but I don't care.